Ah, good morning, everybody. Uh, you know, I had just done a tutorial here on showing you how to be able to repair a 3D scan model in ZBrush. What I wanted to do is I wanted to go back to that and revisit this and show you how to export for printing on a ProJet 660 or any one of the Gypsum color printers by 3D Systems. Um, you could also use one of the normal mono co color printers, you know, MDF. I'm sorry, not MDF. Um, manufacturing where you can, you know, the home printers where you can use ABS or PLA printing. And let's go ahead and open this up and let me continue from where that last tutorial was. And again, this is going to be for exporting for a print. Now, all the 3D systems printers require a WRL export file. So why bother with going through and creating all the UVs, which is going to be another tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do this as well, but you're going to need Maya to be able to do this. So here, let's go back to where we started off from before. And you can see here's my repaired model from before, but but I need to print it. But most print houses are going to look at um, a document that says 629,000 polygons and they're going to be like, ooh, that's a little bit too big. That's a little bit much for it. Hold on, just me mess with my model there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this. This is one of a proven, effective, streamlined method to be able to export your prints. What you want to do, once you have your project set, you opened up again, is you want to go up here to Plugin, and you want to go to where it says Dissemination Master, and you want to drag this down, and you want to make sure you check this box where it says Keep and it says use and keep poly paint all right so we want to go ahead and do the pre-processing on it because what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the poly count on this model so it's safe and easy printing and the file absolutely there's really nothing that's lost in the detail that is not really that is going to show up in the print so i mean here we go we're going to be able to reduce the file size and be able to make this look spectacular out there on a print so now reprocess it. Let's go back and go to the plugin again, and we want to kind of keep the model at about no less than 200,000 polygons for printing. That way, everything the resolution is awesome. So let's go ahead. Let's move it up just a little bit from 20, and let's do it about 29% dissemination. Let's disseminate it, and see it's about 183. Now you could do that, but I see that the best prints come from about 200,000 polygons or up. All right, so I'm going to do Control Z to get the, to undo that. Go back into the Z plugin again, and I'm going to raise this up a little bit higher, probably about 38%, and let's disseminate it. And I got 243,000 polygons. Now you can play with it if you really want some perfection in numbers, which is not completely necessary. But if you want, if you're losing resolution and it doesn't look good, then you'll have to play with it and get it there. But look, I hit Shift and F. And you can see the poly count is, is decent enough where it kept it in the areas that it was required, but it doesn't need it in all of them. So great. So perfect. So now I'm ready to export it. So I'm going to go to export and I'm going to go, go right down here to where it says 3D print exporter. Then I know it's weird how the plugin closes like that on you. You just have to be, you have to go back into the menu again. So I'm going to click plugin. And just as a, as a preference that seems to have worked for me, I mean, again and again, is I'm going to change the inch size to 9 inches, okay? So that seemed like it worked the best for me. Then I want to check on the box where it says visible. And then I want to click, actually, you can do selected or visible, but since there's no other, no other in the scene, nothing else in the scene, visible is fine because this is the only object we're going to do. Then I want to click on VRML export. And since we did this as a tutorial in ZBrush, ZBrush tutorial, ZBrush printing, and I'm going to go ahead and save this one as me. Let's see the and symbol here, me and son. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save it. And give me a second here, it's saving it. And just about done with that. Then that's how simple it is to be able to save a print file. Now I have mine set up already to open up into Mesh Lab. So when I double click on it, it's going to open up into Mesh Lab and it's going to have colors on it. Now I'm going to show in another tutorial on how to be able to create your own UVs to make this work once you have this format. So as long as you have it inside of um, ZBrush, 
this is kind of normal. Some of these, sometimes you'll see this, and I can show you why that does that. But what it does is it automatically repairs it as soon as you open it up. And this is a repaired, completely repaired file, which is WRL ready, which is, I noticed I didn't paint something on the last one there. So sometimes you're going to notice things like that. You're going to go back, ah, I need to go back and fix that. But this is a print ready file right now absolutely print ready no questions about it ready to start printing with it so you can put this in the project 660 printer and you can get a full print and you see the brightness everything's repairing including my ball spots gone there and yeah this is looking pretty good so it looks like just from doing it because we did it kind of quick here the other day look I need to paint a couple of areas to fix that as I showed before so if I was to come back into ZBrush here, what I would do is I said, oh, look, I saw that I needed to paint that little area right here. So then I would come back again. And what I want to do is I want to hit, I'm in the standard brush, but I want to hold down the shift and I want to turn down the intensity. I want to turn on MRGB and I want to sample the color by hitting or C, the C key on the keyboard. And then I can paint right in there like that. You see that? I can paint that current color that I'm using right there, which cleans it up and then you know of course every time you start doing this you're gonna say oh I see just a little bit more I need to fix and you know and just you it's up to you you want to be careful about how much time you spend on one model if you've got dozens and hundreds of them to finish oh yeah I just noticed this. remember as in the other tutorial I showed that I how to fix this hand I'm gonna show another one how to do that as well maybe I don't know it's kinda of tough on this one because my hands are actually close to my body and they're actually have my hands on my son's shoulder so replacing a hand and this usually isn't a problem but yeah I'm gonna need to find some other scan data and then what we'll do is I'll chop some limbs off on that and show how you can replace limbs complete limbs to be able to fix things too so yeah this is pretty neat all right and all right, just so you understand how to export it, and I hope you enjoy this, and I hope this is useful for you. Please give me some feedback on this, and add me in, and subscribe to my channel. It definitely would help out as well, and give some feedback on what you think about this. Thank you again. Have a good one now.